Hey, Fandle Racing fans, I'm here at Churchill Downs with Priscilla Schaefer, who is the exercise rider for Society Man and Door Knock, and we are so lucky to catch up with her because she's got so much information here about Society Man we're going to start off with. Tell us a little bit about the process, his gelding, how he's been here at the track. Yeah, so we started last year when he came in. He was a colt, obviously, and he was a little a bit of a handful. And so we just decided the best route was V to Gelden. And since then, he's really kind of settled down and grown up. Oh, here he is. He's real sweet now in the barn. He's real sweet to, to be around, friendly. He loves attention. Uh, he's a tough little guy on the track, but he's, he knows what he's doing, and he, he just loves his job. So. Now, you said this morning he really went well over the dirt. He yes. seems to really favor Churchill Downs track. Mm -hmm. How did he feel in your hands and, and just really all around on the surface? He's just skipping over it, covering the ground beautifully and just feeling good out there. He loves it. So, One thing I like about Society Man is he has such a powerful hind end, and he's kind of like that very acceptable powerful speedy horse mm -hmm. where you can put him where you want him so when you're riding him in the mornings and even working him is he can you place him wherever you want he's he's very handy so he'll kind of he's strong so you have to you know you have to have a good hold of him but he'll he'll listen to you and you know you can start back or in front either way and just kind of whatever you want to do with him if like if he wanted me to start out in front or behind it doesn't matter he, he'll just kind of He'll settle in wherever you put him. You know, and with a big field like the Derby has and such a long race as the Derby is, this is the type of horse that you really want to kind of sit on and mm -hmm. put yourself anywhere because the race can unfold any possible way. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Do you have something to say? Are you being shy? He's being funny. Yes, but uh, no, he's one, so he doesn't need to make the break so they can we're hoping we've got to Tori on him so he can kind of wherever he settles in is good and he's got a real good to turn a foot on him so he'll we'll just try and settle him and just kind of go from there hope we get a clean trip obviously it's tough in the in the derby you never know what's going to happen but he's one who can come from behind and you know make a run at the end well, FanDuel fans, I think that's such good information here from Priscilla that this horse here, Society Man, is a horse that he doesn't need to have a great break, and he's very adjustable through a big race like this. And we're going to jump over to Doorknock because we've got two entry here. I'm excited to talk about Doorknock. Yeah. He's over here getting his standing bandages on, but... This is one of my favorite rides uh, of the barn since we have him. I had him as a two-year-old. Uh, he's just a big, strong, happy boy out there, and I'm, he's loving the track here. So um, I'm really excited to see what he does in this race. I think he's going to really step forward from the, the bluegrass. He was exceptional in the bluegrass. I mean, he really dominated that field and yeah. just... You know, he he also was looking, I said this on the live earlier, he's a horse that when he's on the track, he's kind of relaxed but bold. Like yes. he's got an essence and like a presence, and obviously you were on him this morning, but you, you get this horse to relax so nicely. Is that something that he's been, you've had to teach him along the way, or is that something that he just developed naturally? He was definitely a bit more of a handful as a two-year-old. Definitely something I had to kind of ease him into is like we don't have to go out there and you know run off every day and just be we can take some time and relax and have some easy days you don't have to be you know galloping around there strong every day so it's good to that he's finally figuring it out he's really uh, growing up and he's getting some class to him as well so and so right now he's just having a spa day getting his legs rubbed on and just getting all the all the fluids worked on and just moving around which I love to see. You guys have really good help here and yeah. so you're a great hand on your horses. Elio here's been grooming him since he came into the barn about a year ago and so he knows him inside and out. What did you say with a horse? Consistency is such a key factor for these horses that having the same groom and having the same rider is such a key in, into having a successful career. I think so for sure. You get to know the horse and they get to know you and you know if something's a little off one day, you know immediately just because you, you get on them every day. And uh, so it's, it's good, I think, to have mostly the same rider on them every day. Obviously, Saez comes in bright, uh, breezes him sometimes and, you know, I've... Carol, my, our assistant, has been on him a couple times, but for the most part, I've been on him every day since since we got him in. So, 
And Dornock has the pedigree. I mean, we had Mage, yeah. who won the Derby last year. Big Brown is his grandpappy. But you said he really reminds you of his mother. He looks just like Puka. Uh, his face, the size of him, the color, everything. So it's I. I've never been around her personally, but um, I think they're more similar than he is with Good Magic. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, yeah. and you have obviously been doing an exceptional job with these horses, and we cannot wait to see them on the track doing more work. And Fandle Racing fans, remember, all your information is here with Fandle Racing.